Hey YouTube, Jeremy here with Simple Little Life. And this past week has been super, super productive. I've got a lot of stuff done, uh, some knife stuff. I got all of our fencing and our land done. So we've got like our horses and our cows out in the field rather than in their corrals. And it's awesome, they're loving it. We don't have to feed them as much hay now because they can eat that stuff down, so that's good. Super busy week, a lot of stuff done. Saturday today, uh, we just went to a pancake breakfast at our church. You may know uh, Calgary is somewhat famous for its stampede. Originally it started out as a rodeo, chuck wagon races, turned into a big huge reason to party. I'm not a huge fan of uh, Stampede. I love rodeo. I check out a lot of small town rodeo. Uh, my boys are actually in the rodeo this year, but um, I'm not a huge fan of Stampede. Too many people, it's crowded, it's jam-packed. I, I don't know, I guess if you like that thing, great, but it's just not for me. Having said that, the one great thing about Stampede is a pancake breakfast everywhere all the time. Anyways, we went to that, went to the pancake breakfast this morning. Wife and kids are at some uh, family members right now looking after the little kids, so I'm gonna take this little opportunity and put some windows into my Seacan knife shop. Uh, some of you know, uh, this is where I make my knives, is in the sea container. You know what, it's what I have, it works. Would I say that this is the best way to do things? No. Having said that, there are a lot of advantages. Um, anyways, I'm putting one window here, right in front of my grinder. And then the next one I'm gonna actually put right here, I believe, so I can get a little cross breeze coming in. And I'm also thinking about a window down at that end so that I can get all four walls uh, to open up so I can take advantage of any wind direction that might be blowing. And uh, in the winter time, this thing's fantastic. I heat it up with a, a, you know, my wood stove here and I have no issues getting like minus 25 Celsius. I get this thing t-shirt comfortable after about an hour. Once that stove really gets stoked and gets nice and hot, it's fantastic. So the summertime's a different story. I've worked in here when this little thermometer has read like 41 degrees Celsius, which I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, upwards over 100, I think. It's just too hot. It's only like way hotter in here than it is outside. Right now is a nice day because it's, um, it's kind of overcast and there's not a lot of sun beating down on this thing so it doesn't get too hot in here. But I'm going to quickly uh, try and cut out these walls. I, I bought a little, uh, some angle iron uh, from Metal Supermarkets today. I also bought some O1 tool steel. And I'm just going to see if I can't get some windows put in this thing. Let some light in first of all and second of all be able to get some air moving towards the back of the shop. So I'm gonna switch over to my crappy cam and uh, let's do this. All right, so here's two windows I picked up. I got these on Kijiji. I think they were $140 for two, which is like, these are over $200 a piece new, I guess. So picked up some angle iron, need to make up a frame, uh, figure out how I'm gonna kind of enclose it, like seal it in that frame and uh, go from there.
an album that's coming in number seven on the North American Jazz Charts at jazzweek.com. called Let Loose by guitarist Peter Burns. guys well there you have it a uh, very quick bush league project and kind of show you here over the main workbench uh, I've got a nice little window I'm going to paint this all up also this expanding foam here uh, once it's totally cured it's still a little soft I'm gonna actually cut it all down and then ugh, and then I'll silicone it all and probably paint it and make it look a little bit better um, one thing is if you do something like this make sure you use low expanding foam because some of the high expanding foam if you put it in between like I actually put it between the uh, frame that little window frame we made and the window the high expanding foam will actually expand so hard that it can break your window so just buckle them and it can actually break the glass too so make sure if you're doing something like this for a house doesn't matter what type of framing it is around the windows you want to make sure you use a low expanding foam and then so this is the main work area here and then right there we have one above my main grinder so I'll be able to grind away have some fresh air come in I've got a very large squirrel cage blower that I've thought about putting down there I kind of mounted in there and just blow everything straight outside all the grindies will come down just whoo. I might do that still uh, if I did that I'd probably close this window and then just leave the one behind me open and that way I'll just whoo, create a draft Hopefully get rid of most of the grinding dust down there. I'm not entirely sure about that yet, but I've got that and it has like those louvers that automatically close. So that's always an option too. But the main thing that I'd wanted was, this is my main like workbench where I do handles and scales, um, trace stuff out. And then this is obviously my grinder that I use for shaping handles and stuff. And then my main grinder. So. This was the area that I really wanted to have a decent airflow, and as long as the air wind's coming this way, whatever, it's pretty good. Even coming from the open door down there, it'll come through these windows. It's, uh, it, as soon as I cut these holes open, the temperature in here dropped about 8 degrees Celsius, so that's a huge thing that I was looking for. Just having a little place for the heat to escape is going to help it a lot, especially when the sun's beating down on this, on this metal seat container. So, quick little project. I did it fairly bush leak, but... Ultimately, I just wanted it done like now, so it works and uh, a little bit of cleanup after everything's cured, all the foam's cured and stuff, but I'm pretty stoked to have these windows. I'm a little disappointed with the light that they lay in. Um, I guess it's, uh, it's pretty overcast outside right now, but even so, if I'm just coming in here a lot of times, if I'm working out in the field and I just need to come grab tools in my toolbox, 
I, uh, it's nice not to have to turn the lights on. You just need a little light to see, so these will just do that naturally, and biggest thing is some airflow. So, anyways, there you have it, guys. Cool little update to the sea container shop that I've wanted to do for a while. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Mm -hmm.